the soldier who was allegedly killed by a mob at a shaman taifa last Saturday has been identified as 21-year-old Shara Moro. Military have no law enforcement powers. Barker Vormawer offers to represent victims of a shaman military brutality. Now let's get into more details of how it happened. He was a member of the Gano Armed Forces Band, a trumpeter, and was stationed at Sunyani in the Bono region. He was in Accra for a military course and in the last three weeks had been visiting the parents in their home at a shaman every Friday. Last Friday would have been the third time he was going home and was reportedly confronted by a gang who killed him. Shara Imoro Shara Imoro was born at a shaman on June 3, 2001, according to his father, Hawudu Imoro. He enrolled in the Gano Armed Forces in October 2021, was trained at Deboya, and was posted to Sunyani after passing out. According to his father, he had his primary and junior high school education at a shaman and senior high school at Aquamuman SHS and completed in 2017. Slain Soldier Incident Last Friday, he was on his way home and there was heavy traffic in the area, so he alighted at a shaman taifa near the court building. It was around that area that he met his death at the hands of his attackers. Some reports suggest the gang mistook him to be a robber. Father narrative. Explaining the circumstances and giving a brief background about his son, the father. Owudu Imoro said in early January this year. Shara phoned his mother and informed the family that he was going to be in Accra. In the first week of February for a course. Shara according to the father told them that when he arrived in Accra, he will get the opportunity to visit them in the house on a Friday, and so in the last three weeks, he had been coming home every Friday. More than 70 to people have been arrested and taken into custody by the soldiers who stormed a shaman Tuesday dawn. After a mob allegedly killed Shara Amora, according to the Member of Parliament for a shaman, Ernest Henry Norgby, he has been informed that the soldiers took the people they arrested away. 70 to persons per the briefing given me by the assembly member for the area have been taken into custody by the soldiers. But as I speak to you the police commander just told me that 70 to persons is an understatement and that they are more than that. They soldiers are still arresting people when you go certain areas of the community. Mr. Norgby said in a radio interview on City FM, monitored by Graphic Online. The MP said the soldiers after the dawn operation left the area. The soldiers had left but around midday. He received a phone call that another batch of military men had trooped into the Ashaman. Constituency. Actually, I spoke to the police commander, and he told me on authority that there are military guys still in the constituency, all over the constituency molesting innocent residents, he said. He said the constituents were worried about the modus operandi of the military, because you see armored cars, you see military vehicles, you see helicopters. Which means that this thing has been sanctioned by the higher authority. And so everybody is handicapped in this matter. So we are just calling on them. To call back their men to the barracks because these people that they are molesting. They are innocent people. I'm not sure they know anything about the killing of the military guy. The MP said. The Ashaman neighborhood of Taifa was on Tuesday dawn. Forced into a self-imposed curfew after some soldiers reportedly stormed the area following the alleged killing of a soldier over the weekend. The soldier was reportedly killed by a mob in a shaman at the weekend. Photos and video of the said soldier was shared on social media after the incident. Some reports said he was attacked and stabbed by a gang. The soldier was reportedly on his way to his family home. Soldiers reaction. On Tuesday dawn March 7, 2023, some alleged soldiers numbering not less than 20 stormed the area. They questioned anyone they came across and reportedly beat them up. This forced people to lock themselves up in their homes, fearing they will be beaten up by the soldiers. Some eyewitnesses have recounted their experience on social media. Some said they saw the soldiers around 2 a.m. One person said he woke up around 4 a.m. to see that the area which was usually busy around that time with many shops open was still very quiet. One person said he woke up around 4 a.m. to see that the area which was usually busy around that time with many shops open, was still very quiet. His assumption was that it was as a result of the downpour, but when he stepped out, he saw some soldiers on the stretch. There were no vehicles moving. He saw soldiers approaching. 
so he quickly rushed back into the house and locked the gate. He said his brother later told him he woke up earlier and saw soldiers beating up some other people. My mother owns a shop by the roadside and should have been open by now but as we speak, all shops are still closed, he said. He said he saw that vehicles passing by were stopped. Male passengers dragged out and beaten up. You people kill our colleague, some of the soldiers reportedly said. Another eyewitness said the said soldiers knocked on doors and anybody who came out allegedly received some slaps. The assemblyman for the area reportedly sent out a message advising residents to avoid certain routes. He said he counted not less than 20 armed soldiers on foot, who were. What happened with mob killing of soldier? The incident of the mob killing of the soldier received varied reactions at the weekend. Some had alleged that the young soldier was on his way to his home when he was attacked by a gang. Some had alleged that he was stabbed to death by the mob. Photos from the incident scene showed the lifeless body of the victim, who was in what seemed to be a torn trousers in military camouflage colors. His military cap and a white cloth had been used to cover his face. Also, his bag in military camouflage colors was lying close to the body. The Ghana police and the Ghana armed forces are yet to comment on the incident. <laughs> I shall hear from him. Believe. I shall then see your heart. What time? Around three down. Three? Yeah. It's your mobile almost a day. They said, Did you kill the person? They said you are the one that killed the person. Yeah. So, what did they do? How? So, they came to you. Mm. He's in pain. He's in pain. He's in pain. <laughs> That's what I say. Okay. So did you see the body? No. Did you see the, the yeah, person? See the body, you yeah. Okay. Yeah, At what time? Three down. Around. When? Friday. Okay. So I learned he came to die here, but they didn't kill him here. Or what did you hear? So what else? What what else happened after you saw the body? Did people come for it? Did yeah, the police? Yeah, people, police broke in. Okay. 